So in this video, I'm going to be giving you a review of my Chromebook, more specifically my Acer Chromebook 11. Now, a lot of people online talk about Chromebooks and compare them to regular PCs. And in this video, I'm going to describe my own personal uh, opinion about my Chromebook, the pros and the cons, and whether or not a Chromebook would be suitable for you. And first of all, I must say I'm not a computer expert. The review you're about to hear is going to be very simple, very straightforward, aimed at everyday people, very sort of um, people who may only have average knowledge of computers because I am certainly no computer expert. To tell you a little bit about my Chromebook, uh, I got it a little over a year ago and to give you some of the features of it, it has an HDMI port, it has two USB ports, it has an SD slot which comes in very handy, uh, there's a headphone jack, there's also a webcam, and my Chromebook has 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, to tell you some of the pros of my Chromebook, some of the things that I like. First of all, it's extremely light. It weighs under three pounds. It's extremely portable. If you're the type of person who does a lot of traveling, if you're spending a lot of time on the road, the Chromebook is extremely portable. It has a long battery life. Between charges, you can get up to 10 hours of battery time, which is great. Uh, it's good if you basically just want a browser. Um, if most of your time spent on your laptop is simply browsing the internet, the Chromebook is fine for that. Uh, and it also comes with built-in malware and virus protection. Now, some of the things I don't like about the Chromebook. My biggest complaint, and I kind of knew this getting into the Chromebook, but I didn't realize how bad it was until I actually got one. Most of the programs that I used on my old PC won't work on the Chromebook. And sometimes there are equivalent programs which do equivalent things to those programs, but from my experience, they don't work as well or they don't work at all, or they just, they're very, very buggy and have a lot of issues. So that's my biggest complaint is that um, a lot of these programs that I used to use, I can't use on the Chromebook. The touchpad is extremely sensitive. Even if you adjust the touchpad speed, it's still very touchy. For, for example, there's many times when I just want to hover over something. And if I just go to hover, the touchpad will immediately click on that link. But I don't want to click on it, I just want to hover. But it's so sensitive that just oftentimes when I just hover over a particular link, it will just click on it for me, which it's kind of annoying. So basically getting back to the software problem, I use a lot of music making and video editing software and Chromebook is just not designed for those kinds of applications. Yes, there are music making software. There is music making software that's specifically designed for Chromebook. And there's, from what I understand, there's also video editing software that works on Chromebook. But I find that the ones that I'm used to, the programs that I like, the that I'm used to using, they just don't work on Chromebook, which is frustrating. Also, printing can be a real hassle. Uh, the Chromebook relies on Google Cloud Print. Now, the problem with that, not all printers are cloud print ready. So you'll often hear stories about people really struggling to print something from their Chromebook. That's why, because a lot of printers just aren't compatible and just aren't cloud print ready. Overall, with a Chromebook, you have to buy into Google Drive. And if you're not familiar with Google Drive, basically it's cloud storage. If you're comfortable with that, if you have no problem storing most of your documents and items in the cloud on Google Drive, no problem. Uh, but personally, mm, I find that a bit daunting. I don't fully trust it. The first 15 gigabytes of Google Drive are free, but after that you have to pay. And that kind of annoys me as well. Overall, this Chromebook, it's simple, it's light, it's nothing fancy. And to be blunt here, it's basically a glorified browser. And as I mentioned before, if that's really all you use your computer for is just to browse the internet, it's fine for that. It's perfectly safe for doing online banking. You can do online shopping with it. It's fine for all that. It's again, basically a glorified browser. And if you're the kind of person like me, if you prefer to check your emails and other messages on a laptop rather than a smartphone, 
the Chromebook could be for you. It's basically designed to do light computing duties like browsing, streaming videos, etc., those kinds of things. But overall, it has very weak processing power. Is the Chromebook good for gaming? Well, I'm really not the person to ask. I am not a gamer, so I really can't comment on that. I've heard mixed reviews on that online. Some people say, yeah, it's fine for gaming, and other people have said, no, no, it's terrible for gaming. So if you're interested in a computer for gaming, you're going to have to find that out yourself because I'm not really sure. So that's my general overview of the Chromebook. Would I recommend that you buy one? Yes, if all you're looking for is a browser and all you use your laptop for is very simple, light duties, you can basically do that with a Chromebook. If you're looking for something a bit more sophisticated, something a bit more involved, the Chromebook is probably not for you. So that's my review of the Chromebook. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel. You see the little red box in the bottom right hand corner. Please click on that to subscribe. I post new tech videos all the time and you'll be on top of all the latest videos if you subscribe. Please leave, leave us a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. Leave us a comment. We'd love that. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Take care. Bye bye.